Making a thick chocolate drips can be easy and sometimes complicated, especially if it is the type that dries up almost immediately. You can use these chocolate drips for your cakes, for designs, for pastries and snacks fillings, butter cake designs, or anything that requires the use of chocolate drips and fillings. You will also see how I was able to use this in my chocolate bite products with the link of this gorgeous product in my description box down below. Mm. So keep watching and learn. Hello, it's Chinedo Vincent from SalpaceFoodBlog.com and we teach you how to make pastries, snacks and launch packs. Subscribe for more valuable food contents ahead. For this very recipe, we'll be using half milk cup of cocoa powder. And you know it's good to measure your ingredients and get them ready. This also is half cup of milk. Quarter cup of corn flour also is needed. And in case you are confused by what I mean by cup, here is a cup of sugar I just measured in your present, which I have been using. 26 ml of liquid condensed milk flavor and dark chocolate, which I'll be using for thickening the recipe. And to begin, I'm going to open my pot and pour in my milk and I will reconstitute the powdered milk with half liter of water otherwise called 500 ml. Now mix with your spatula to dissolve the lumps. So once that is properly done, I will go ahead and introduce my sugar. Sugar does two major things to your liquor. It adds sweetness and also serve as a preservative medium difficult for microorganisms to proliferate and after mixing for a few seconds the cocoa powder goes in next and once that is done take a little time to mix and cause to dissolve properly alternatively you can sift the cocoa powder for easy dissolution before mixing after that add a little water in another pot place in your cocoa mixture once the water is already heated up and begin to stir please your stirring must be frequent okay while the chocolate is heating up on the other side remove your dark chocolate and chop them into smaller particles so it can dissolve faster and thicken quickly. So add this to your chocolate fillings. Once well dissolved, it will go a long way in thickening your chocolate. And at this point, I'll add flavor. This is condensed milk flavor. You, you know I love this flavor. Please feel free to use any flavor of your choice. This is my choice, not my choice. Over here is half cup of water, two tablespoons of flour powder, and two tablespoons of corn flour. The flour goes in into the water first. So at this point, you must ensure that you dissolve the lumps of the flour properly so that it does not block the mouth of your piping bag while piping. It also helps to prevent lumps of any form in your drips, giving it a smooth beautiful look and flow. And if you know that you're not gonna take your time to dissolve this flour properly, please avoid using flour. So I add a little water and keep checking the consistency and I'm adding corn flour right now and then mix through until it is properly dissolved. So after dissolution this is how it will look like. Incorporate into your chocolate liquid mix 
and stir until it gelatinizes. It might take 3 to 5 minutes to achieve the desired thickness under a continuous heat. The mechanism behind the thickening of these chocolate liquid mints, scientifically speaking, is what is called an apparent gelatinization temperature. That is, with increase in temperature, the chocolate gelatinizes. And to avoid lumps, you must keep stirring. Once your desired thickness is achieved, you can take it off the heat and cool down. So I've detached it from the heat source and this is the cooling process. During cooling, please keep stirring. Once the temperature is calm to about 40 degrees C, but not completely cold, simply pour into your container and preserve for later use. So that's so simple. These chocolate drips can be used for your cakes, your buttercream cakes. As for me, I'll be using it for my chocolate bites. You can use it for anything that requires the use of chocolate. You can add it to your pastries, your donuts, whatever, you know, and you will love it. So just when I use this medium to give a shout out to all my fans, those following me on Facebook, on YouTube, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much and God bless you. Please ensure to tell me how my videos has been helping you out and also bring out your questions if you have any. And subscribe and follow us if you are yet to do so. You can check out for the video of this gorgeous product. And the link is at the description box. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.